What sort of day will today be? Will it be one of those days when everything goes well, beautiful, a real mountaintop experience? Or what, will it be the opposite of that? Chaos, nothing going right. You seem to be down in the valley of the shadow. I find that sometimes it's the mountaintop, sometimes it's the valley. In fact, our life is very much like the waves of the sea, if I may change the metaphor. Sometimes riding the crest of the wave, at other times way down in the trough of depression and chaos. Is it like that with you too? Well, maybe you have discovered that those mountaintop experiences are all very beautiful and fulfilling and well. But it is down in the valley, down in the uncomfortable situations of chaos and suffering and sacrifice that the real growth and learning takes place in the Christian life. I have discovered that it is right down in the valley that Christ is closest to me. In fact, he seems to be at home in chaos when everything seems to be going wrong. Just look at him in the storm on the lake. And let's face it, our Christian faith was born in the chaos of the valley of the shadow of death, the cross of Christ. Yes, Jesus Christ is at home in the chaos. And I've come to the conclusion that when I am in the valley of the shadow, this is the time to shout hallelujah, praise the Lord. For what a privilege it is affording me, allowing me to share in his cross, allowing me to grow and mature and learn for his kingdom. It is indeed a privilege to walk with him in the valley of the shadow. Let us pray. Thank you, Lord, for the mountaintop experiences of life. But thank you especially for the experiences in the valley of the shadow where we can share in your cross and your glorious work of salvation and bringing about your kingdom on earth as it is in heaven. Thank you that there we can grow and mature and become the people you have created us to be. Now we pray that his peace may be with us throughout this day. Amen.